Grace College of Engineering, Tutukudi, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, Fundamentals of Data Structure in C Lab. This lab for second year ECE students, third semester, exercise number 2A, String Palindrome Checking. Second exercise, we have two subdivisions A and B. Subdivision A, string parallel room checking. Aim of this program to find the string parallel room checking by C program. Algorithm, step 1, start the program. Step 2, declare the variable with respective data type. This character we are using here, S of 20 and S1, that is 20, array variables, okay. And then step 3, enter the string. Step 4, copy the string. We are using this method, strcpy, this is a string copying. We want to use this. And step 5, reverse the string. For that we use this term, strrev. Then step 6, calculate. M is equal to STR CMP, that is comparing S1 and S. Then step 7, if N equal to equal to 0, then the given string is a parallel row. Else the given string is not a parallel row. Then stop the program. Let us see the program. First include the header files and main function. We are taking character. So character, data type, variables or we are using array variables. S of 20 and S1 also 20. Array always starts from 0. So we can store 0 to 19 elements inside S and S1. Then clear screen. Then printer, enter the string. Here we have used character data type. So in the scanner use percentage. Yes. Okay. Then string copy. S1, comma yes. Then string reverse. S1, if strcmp, that is a comparing Sn, S1. That is equal to equal to 0 means if the condition is true, printer given string is parallel row in the output screen. Else printer the given string is not a parallel row then get ch output of this program enter the string dad entered the given string is parallel row enter the string mom the given string is not a parallel row let us execute this program in the turbo c software here i have entered the program first compile Compile the program, warning 0 and error 0, then run the program, enter the string, DAD, enter, the given string is parallel row, so our output is correct. Thank you.